imagine to our building's HVAC system as its very own respiratory system, much like our lungs. The ducts are the airways, the pathways for air to circulate and their size is absolutely crucial for optimal performance. Calculating duct area isn't just a simple math exercise. This crucial calculation tells you exactly how much material to order for the project. Getting the duct area right from the start is the most important first step. Welcome back to SRHVAC. So let's dive in. Calculating duct area is simple if you know the right formulas for each shape. Rectangular ducts area equals 2 multiply width plus height multiply length. Circular ducts area L pi multiply diameter multiply length. Oval ducts area L2 multiply flat side length plus pi multiply height multiply length. Rectangular is most common think of a long metal box. Circular ducts are efficient with less surface area for the same airflow. Oval ducts fit tight spaces and balance airflow and space. Identify the duct shape, measure accurately and plug into the right formula. Let's run through some quick practical examples for each duct type. We'll walk through the calculations step by step so you can clearly see how to determine the surface area. This is crucial for accurately estimating the amount of galvanized iron GI sheet metal required for your HVAC projects. Understanding these calculations will save you time and money. Rectangular. Let's say our rectangular duct is 0.5 meters wide, 0.3 meters high and 2 meters long. These are common dimensions you might encounter in a typical HVAC system. To calculate the surface area, we use the formula area equals 2 multiply width plus height multiply length. So in this case, area equals 2 multiply 0.5 plus 0.3 multiply 2 equal 3.2 square meters. This represents the total surface area of the rectangular duct. Circular. Now consider a circular duct with a diameter of 0.5 meters and a length of 2.0 meters. Accurate measurements are key here. The formula for the surface area of a cylinder is area equal pi multiply diameter multiply length. Therefore, area equal pi multiply 0.5 multiply 2.0 3.14 square meters. Remember to use the value of pi for accurate results. Flat oval. For a flat oval duct, let's assume a width of 0.6 meters, a height of 0.3 meters and a length of 1.5 meters. To simplify the calculation, we first determine the length of the flat side. Flat side is our width, height is 0.6 minus 0.3 is 0.3 meters. The area calculation becomes area is 2 multiply flat side plus pi multiply height multiply length. Plugging in the values, we get area is with 2 multiply 0.3 plus pi multiply 0.3 multiply 1.5 0.6 plus 0.94 multiply 1.5 2.31 square meters. Each of these calculations provides you with the precise amount of GI sheet you'll need to fabricate that specific duct section. Once you've calculated the area for each individual duct section, add up all the areas to determine the total GI sheet requirement for your entire project. By following these step-by-step -step instructions, you can confidently estimate the material needs for virtually any duct shape you encounter in your HVAC projects. GI sheets thankfully come in standard sizes which simplifies the ordering process. These standard dimensions are your starting point. However, before you finalize your order, you absolutely need to add a waste factor. This accounts for the inevitable offcuts, mistakes during cutting and any potential damage to the material. A general rule of thumb is to add somewhere between 10 to 15 percent to your total area. For example, let's say your total duct area calculation comes out to be 100 meters square. To be on the safe side and account for waste, you should order 115 meter of GI sheets. This buffer will prevent frustrating delays. A standard GI sheet typically measures around 2.44 meters in length by 1.22 meters in width. This equates to approximately 2.98 meters square per sheet. Remember this number as it's crucial for the next calculation. Now take your adjusted total area, the one that includes the waste factor and divide it by 2.98. This division will give you the number of GI sheets you need to purchase. Accurate measurements are everything always double check before you calculate. With these tips, you'll avoid costly mistakes and deliver a top-notch HVAC system. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe and comment below.